Hi, welcome to my channel, Math Made Easy with Laurel. I'm Laurel, and in this video, we're going to look at mixture word problems. When you encounter word problems that involve mixtures, there's a basic mathematical relationship you need to understand. So we'll talk about that first, and then we'll look at how we actually solve these problems. So what I want to, to make sure you understand is that when you're finding a certain percent of something, um, you multiply by that percent. So you take the total amount, it could be a volume, it could be a mass, and you multiply the percentage of the component to get the amount of that component. So for example, if I said how much silver is in 100 grams of an alloy that is 90% silver, you take the 100 grams, multiply by 0.9, 90% you have to change to a decimal. So that would give us 90 grams of actual silver are in 100 grams of an alloy that contains 90% silver. Let's take a look at how we use that relationship in solving these mixture problems. Our first example says how much gasohol containing 8% ethanol must be added to 40 liters of gasohol containing 11% ethanol to obtain a mixture that contains 10% ethanol. There's a lot of information there and people tend to get very confused. So one strategy I find very helpful in mixture questions is to make a diagram like this. I'm, I'm basically taking two mixtures, adding them up to get a final mixture, and I'm gonna put as much information about each mixture as I can in the diagram so I don't have to keep looking back at those words. So we're starting off with an 11%, we're starting off with 40 liters of an 11% ethanol mixture. So we've got 40 liters of that. I wanna know how much of this 8% mixture has to be added to that so that's going to be my unknown let a equal amount of eight percent ethanol mixture to be added and i can write liters as my unit i want to end up with a final mixture that's ten percent and I don't know how much I, I'm going to end up with. However, I know I'm starting with 40 liters. I'm adding A liters. So therefore, I must end up with 40 plus A liters. The key to all of these mixture questions is you focus on one component and you find that amount of component in each of the mixtures. That, those two amounts should add up to the, equal the, that amount of component in the final mixture. So how much ethanol do I have in this mixture? I have 11% of 40. I add to that the amount of ethanol I have in my second mixture, which will be 8% of its volume, which is A. That should be equal to the amount of ethanol in our final mixture, and that would be 10% of our volume, when our volume is 40 plus A. Now we solve. 4.4 plus 0.08a will equal 4 plus 0.1a. When I move my terms around, I'm going to subtract a 4, so I'll get 0.4 will equal. I subtract a 0.08a from both sides, and I get 0.02a. I divide by 0.02, and a will equal 20. So I'm, my solution is that I need 20 liters of this mixture in order to get the desired uh, concentration in my final mixture. So if we are adding 20 liters of our 8% mixture, that means we'll end up with 60 liters as our final mixture. So we can do a check. I already know how much ethanol is in my first mixture. 11% of 40 is 4.4. The amount of ethanol in my second mixture will be 8% of 20. Does that equal the amount of ethanol in my final mixture, which is 10% of 60? So I 
4.4 plus 1.6. 10% of 60 is 6. 4.4 plus 1.6 is 6. It checks out. So I've got the correct answer. And the question asked me how much of the 8% mixture do I need? So um, 20 liters of the 8% mixture is needed. And that's the pattern I'm going to typically use for mixture questions. In this problem, it asks us how much water should be added to 1.8 liters of a 20% acid solution to make a mixture containing 15% acid. In this particular question, there is a changing uh, concentration formula that a person could use if um, you were familiar with that. But I want to set it up using the same pattern I've introduced because you're not always going to just be adding water. You, you might be adding another solution that has a certain percentage. So this method works um, regardless of what kind of question you encounter. So again, we have uh, two mixtures combining to equal a final mixture. So let's get our information in our drawing. We want to, we start with 1.8 liters of a 20% solution. And we want to end up with a 15% solution. And we want to know how much water to add. This question is, is unique in that we're adding straight water and the components that these um, percentages refer to are the amount of acid, the percentage of acid in the solution. So if we're adding straight water, it's going to be 0% acid. Could you do the question using the percentages with water? Absolutely. So you've got either option will work, but then it would be 80%, 100%, and 85% if you did it with water. So let's let A equal the amount of water to be added in liters. So we're going to add A liters of water, it's 0% acid, and we're going to end up with 1.8 plus A liters of our final mixture. So we're going to do what we did in the last example. We're going to say the amount of acid in the first mixture, so that will be 20% of 1.8, plus the amount of acid in our second mixture, it's straight water, it's zero acid, so it'll be zero, A or just zero, will equal the amount of acid in our final mixture, it'll be 15% of 1.8 plus A. And now we solve. So we're going to get 0.36 equals 0.27 plus 0.15 A. Subtract 0.27 from both sides. We'll get 0.09 equals 0.15a, divide both sides by 0.15, and we get a equal to 0.6. So a is equal to 0 0.6, which means we're adding 0.6 liters of water. When we add 0.6 here, we will end up with 2.4 liters of our final mixture. So let's do a, a check to make sure this number is going to work. Our check will be on the amount of acid in each of the solutions. So we already know that there's 0.36 liters in this mixture. Plus we're not, you know, 0% of 0.6 liters is zero. Does that work out to be 15%? of 2.4 liters. So 0.36 will equal 0.15 times 2.4, which is 0.36, so it works out. 
We know our answer is correct. Now let's answer the question. It says how much water should be added? This represents the amount of water. So therefore we would say 0 0.6 liters of water should be added. And we're done. Let's try one more. Okay, this question says how many grams of an alloy containing 80% silver must be melted with another alloy containing 95% silver to make 400 grams of a new alloy containing 92.5% silver. There's a difference to the, in this question compared to the other two questions. And it's very important to understand that difference. In the other two questions, we started off with a set amount. We didn't know how much we were adding. Therefore, we didn't really know how much we were gonna end up with. However, in this question, it asks us, we wanna end up with a set amount. So we actually don't know how much of either of these two we're going to use. So we want to end up with 400 grams of an alloy that is 92.5% silver. We have an alloy of 80% uh, silver and another one of 95% silver. But I don't know the amounts of either of those. So we're going to let our unknown be one of them, and then we'll have to express the other one in terms of that variable. So I'm going to choose amount of alloy number one, and my answer will be in grams. So if I have X grams here of alloy number one, and I want to end up with 400 grams, Alloy number two must be 400 minus X grams. Now we set up our equation. So we take 80%, how much silver is in this one? 80% of X plus 95% of 400 minus X will equal 92.5% of 400. So we have 0.8X plus 380 minus 0.95x equals 370. 0.15x subtracts 370, I'll have 10, and I'll have zero here. I'm gonna add this to both sides, so I'll have 0.15x. We end up with 66.6 repeating, I'll round that off to 66.7. Let's do a check. So if I have X represents this one. So if I take 80% of 66.7 plus 95% of 400 minus 66.7 will be 333.3. That Does that equal 370? I've already calculated what 92.5% of 400 is. So when we multiply this, we get 53.4 plus, multiply this, 316.6. We add that up. And it will check works out. So we now make sure we answer the question, how many grams of the 80% alloy are needed? That's all they ask. They don't care about how much 95%. So make your statement. 66.7 grams of your 80% alloy are needed. Practice, make sure that you understand these questions, get comfortable, get confident, and once you are both of those things, then you can take a look at the next type of word problem in the next video. Until then,